Here in Slough is the world's only liquid air energy plant. It's a three-stage process which starts by sucking air into large compressors. The air is then chilled and that liquid is stored in huge tanks at minus 196 degrees centigrade. The storage is at low pressure. 790 litres of air makes just one litre of liquid air, so vast quantities of it can be stored. In effect, this liquid air is stored energy. To get it back, all you have to do is release the air and warm it. This turns the liquid back into a gas. That high pressure air will then turn a turbine which powers a generator and you get electricity. So what's the difference between this system and a conventional way of storing energy such as a battery? We would be less efficient than the battery, certainly the batteries are on the market today. Um, it's the scalability of this though is, 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 is much easier. The technology around is mature for um, this type of plant, so the capex, so the capital expenditure would be much, much lower um, and its life expectancy also would be longer. This plant is built next to a power station and that's the other advantage of liquid air. It can use waste heat to improve the process. Siting our, uh, a plant such as this next to a power station means that we can um, take the energy that they would otherwise um, expel into the atmosphere and we can actually uh, turn that back into electrical energy. This is a pilot plant designed to prove that the science works. a priority. Electricity storage, particularly in a place like the UK, is not what about the electricity market looks like today. It's about what it's going to look like in the next few years. One of the problems with the renewable energy is many sources of it are intermittent and we have to deal with managing electricity networks even through all that intermittency. Now when there's only 5 or 10 percent of intermittent electricity on your network that's quite easily manageable but what if that level of intermittency goes up to 50 percent then you start to need to think a little bit more deeply about how that gets managed and putting energy storage on the system is a very cost-effective way of helping to manage that situation. The freezing air system is a British success story and one that could well prove a worldwide technology of the future.